What's up YouTube, this is Everything Apple Pro and as many of you guys know the 4.2 software has just been released it's not the official version, it's the pre-release where they test it for bugs and stuff but it's very close and I'm going to tell you whether it's worth updating and if there's a jailbreak available for it and which device you should update. Now if you're on an iPhone any type of iPhone it will update your baseband that means you will no longer be able to unlock right now or in the future until uh, 4.2 unlock is released and that is highly unlikely for a while for a few months so stick with 4.1 on your iPhone on your iPod touch fourth gen and third gen it is okay it is actually a lot smoother it's faster but I really couldn't find anything wrong with it there's a lot of great features if you want to you can go ahead and take the plunge to update that and I'm going to show you guys how to in this video. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is a jailbreak. Uh, the jailbreak does exploit. Uh, I've tried Lime Rain, Green Poison, and Red Snow. Uh, Green Poison and Red Snow uh, exploits the jailbreak, but I get a white icon, and when I open Cydia, it just exit out, exits out to the home screen. So it doesn't work right now. But when it does work, I'll post a video annotation right here. So click on that. Uh, in the future, there will be a video annotation right there. Um, so yeah, and uh, there's no jailbreak as of now, but if you want to take the plunge, you want to check it out, check out the features, uh, we're going to do that right now. So you'll need a couple things. You'll need to download iTunes 10, otherwise it will not be able to sync with the iOS 4.2 device, and you'll need the 4.2 software for your device, of course. All the links in the description below. So go ahead and open up iTunes and make sure your iPod is plugged in via USB. Find it in the left column and on your keyboard hold shift and left click update and now you select the 4.2 firmware mine's on my desktop and it will begin to update so that's how you guys do it it's really simple um, you can downgrade if you have your SSH saved for 4.1 so before updating to 4.1 I'll put a video annotation right here to how to save your SHSH file so you can downgrade in the future um, that's just about it you guys I really hope you like this video Please tell me in the comments whether you're thinking about uh, updating to 4.2 or staying at 4.1 and why. Uh, don't forget to rate this video and please subscribe. Thanks a lot, you guys.